What's going on guys, JLaw B-Ball here, and I'm gonna work on three things to help you become more aggressive in your game. I want you to make sure that we watch the third one. This one is guaranteed to transform your game to make you way more aggressive and confident. So make sure you watch it and stick all the way to the end. You better believe it. Yeah, yeah, yeah. Let's become more confident. Let's become more aggressive. Let's get better at ones. Let's get better in our offense. Yeah, yeah, yeah. Super physical. Yeah, yeah, yeah. Get buckets. Yeah, yeah, yeah. Yeah, 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 yeah. First way to become more aggressive when playing in live or one-on-one -on -one scenarios, five-on-five -five scenarios, is to be able to shoot or to be confident and look for your shot immediately upon the catch. So we have multiple scenarios on the court or in a game where we receive the ball and we get into a shot. Won't it be off a stationary position. So if we're hanging out at the perimeter, just waiting for the basketball, are we confident enough to where ever that ball touches our hands, we're ready to shoot? The other one would be off of a screen or off of an off ball action. So coming off a pin down, curling, receiving basketball, are we looking to shoot or are we looking just to be a, a placeholder for that next action? Really important to look for our shot. And then the third one is off the bounce. Whether it be pushing downhill, attacking our defender, are we capable of looking for a shot every single rep? This is really, really important. And we're gonna work on three things right now to help with finding your shot early, often, and confidently. First thing I wanna talk about is in preparedness, like for your shot, is make sure that you have a proper setup. So we're only gonna talk about two types of footwork right now for our setup. So we have one, which would be a foot replacement. If I'm hanging out at the top of the key, maybe I have a teammate in the corner, he makes his drive. I wanna make sure that my hips are loaded. And then on that catch, I wanna get into a nice quick foot replacement. A foot replacement is when we lift our feet up and replace them immediately down underneath our shoulders. This is the fastest way for us to be able to get into our shot. And as soon as that ball hits those hands, we want to make sure that those feet are right in the action of hitting the floor. So you're gonna notice as ball is in flight to my hands, my feet are leaving the ground, and as soon as ball touches my hands, boom, my feet are getting established down to the ground. So as soon as that ball hits, boom, feet hit, we can get right up and into our shot. Huge shout out to Bear Mattress for making this video possible. Everybody has different sleep preferences and positions. Bear created a sleep quiz, so that way you can pinpoint exactly what type of sleeper you are and what mattress best fits your sleep style. I'm personally a side sleeper. I also sleep with my partner. With, she's just all over the place, tossing and turning. After taking the quiz, paired us with the Elite Hybrid mattress. This is actually our second Bear Mattress. What we like about Bear Mattress, how easy it is and convenient it is, to just order it online. The sleep quiz makes it super convenient for you and it's shipped right to your doorstep. Bear's sleep recovery technology uses salient powered fabric to help keep you cool throughout the night. All Bear mattresses are non-toxic, right? They are Green Guard Gold certified, Certi Pure US certified, and they are EcoFlex fiberglass free. Yeah, 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 yeah. Best thing about this purchase is you have 120 night sleep trial. You can send it back, they'll pick it up, give you a full refund. Rest assured that this is gonna be the best mattress for you. Rolled up super tight, you carry it up or cart it to your room, you drop it down, it opens up. On top of that, as if it weren't enough already, Bear Mattress has a lifetime warranty and they offer financing plans. Thanks again to Bear Mattress for making this video possible. Make sure you head to bearmattress.com slash jlawbball or just use my promo code jlawbball to get 30% off your new mattress. Click that link below, make it happen, enjoy your sleep. Now let's get back to the video. Second type of footwork that helps with consistency and being ready to shoot is a rhythm step. So for me as a lefty, I'm gonna take my lever, which is my left foot, put it back into my frame so when I'm ready to receive that pass, it already loads my hips. And when as soon as I catch that ball, I can gather that rhythm step forward. This is gonna help with momentum, being able to get that ball up, and out of my hands and into my shot, get that energy. So I'm take, translating that energy outward to upward. So as soon as that foot hits the floor, 
in front of my right foot, I'm in, it, that's the start of my shot going upward. So that transition point. So we call this rhythm step. If you're a righty, your right foot would be back, catching, gathering into your shot. So let's go through a couple reps. Just watch the timing. As soon as ball gets to my hands, I'm stepping that foot forward and allowing that momentum going forward to translate upward, equate to power. Second key that we want to talk about in order to become more consistent or confident with catching and being able to shoot is if we're on the move, like sliding, we want to be able to turn our body and square to the basket abruptly, quickly. So one thing that we do, say we're coming off a pin down or we're turning and running, is we want to be able to turn our inside toe to point toward the rim. So that way by the time we receive the basketball, we can square up accordingly. This is a such a, a huge, like key for us, a lot of players will stop before they get to the ball and they'll point their toe. And then once they catch it, they take time to pivot open and square up to the hoop. And by that time, you lose a lot of time and your defender can close out a little bit more. And now they have the potential to contest or block your shot. So you're gonna notice on these, as soon as I receive the basketball, I'm turning my toe toward the rim. So that way, by the time I receive it, my body's already twisting into, into the basket or turning toward the hoop, and I can square up a little bit faster to the rim. Third way to become a little bit more ready to shoot is getting through the basketball. So a lot of times when we catch, we'll catch and we'll stop prior to receiving ball, and this is gonna leave a void between ball and body. So it causes our arms to be a little bit stiff, very robotic, mechanical. It also doesn't allow us to maximize our space between us and our defender. So if I have my passer here, I go to receive the basketball. Sometimes or what we like to teach is getting through this void, catching, striding with that inside step to get through space, and now you maximize that distance between you and your defender also gives you a little bit more rhythm to find it and gather into your shot. So watch the point at which I catch the basketball and then how my body goes through that basketball before I shoot. The second skill in becoming a more aggressive offensive player is to be the one who establishes contact first. So if I have Max guarding me and I have the ball in triple threat, what I don't want to do is I don't want to let him start establishing contact, push me around. And really, that one or that first blow is going to be with the biggest kind of like statement piece to an offensive possession. So what we want to do is we want to make sure if we have a defender who's actively being aggressive, we want to establish contact first. Step into their frame, make sure we're drawing blood first. We don't want to be the ones back on our heels and just allowing that defender to push us everywhere. So you're going to notice what we do on this or a skill that we'd use is just a basic middle jab. So if I have a defender who's in fr front of my frame, I'm going to take that inside foot or off, off my pivot foot and I'm going to body and step in between my defender's frame and then use my shoulders to kind of push or alleviate space. The moment I do that and pivot open, now my defender's like in a closeout position and I can work on jabs or rips to get into a, to an attack. So try to draw blood first, create contact first before your defender gets a chance to apply pressure. <laughs> The third key that we're gonna talk about today on how to become more aggressive on offense is making sure you can take a second dribble through contact. So a lot of times when a defender bodies us on our first bounce, we either pick the ball up, 
retreat or change direction. I mean, usually it causes, or not usually, but sometimes it can cause a lot of disruption in the, with the ball in our hands or it can cause us to turn the basketball over. But if we take that second bounce through contact, it's gonna free up a lot more space from us, for us. And what it'll do is it'll help us become a little bit more aggressive. Now we can withstand contact. So what you guys are gonna notice is I'm gonna have my defender on me. When I drive, the first dribble that I take, I'm gonna connect with him. The second dribble I take, I'm gonna be able to make that proper read on what option I have. Whether I'm gonna continue, change direction, or get to a little fade or step back. If this video was helpful for you, I want you to drop a comment below. I want to do more of these instructional videos for you guys. We have a lot of knowledge here that I know will help you guys develop. So please drop a comment, give it a thumbs up, so I can continue to give you fire content that's going to help you improve. Yeah, yeah, yeah. Yeah, yeah, yeah. Yeah, yeah, yeah.